Hi everyone, welcome. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to uh, blink LEDs uh, in a circuit along with breadboard. So this is the first time we will deal with the breadboard. Uh, firstly, I call the Uno. Okay, it's right here. And then I need to call also breadboard. Small one, it's okay for us. And I need also LED and also one resistor. Resistor is used to reduce the, the current in a circuit. Okay, so if you directly give 5 voltage to one LED or any uh, components, you might burn it or you might damage the device. But by using these uh, the resistors, you you will just give the safe power as the device needed for uh, functioning. Right now, uh, firstly, I want to tell you one more time, there are two, two sides in the LED. One is anode. It goes to the pin numbers, okay? Uh, another is cathode, uh, which is for grounding. So we will connect this with the GND. Right now, I'm going to place this to my breadboard. Uh, as you see, I placed it here. It doesn't matter in which number you place. So you just need to uh, use this line, number 9 and 10. You might also place this in another part of the uh, Arduino, I mean breadboard. Right now I'm going to get my uh, resistor. Okay, as we said, uh, the, this side, the cathode, uh, is for negative, And the negative should go to the grounding and it should go through the resistor to reduce the current. I go to GND and I do make a connection here okay also by using these bending points I can make this look good as you see and uh, you might change the color also by just clicking on this and choosing the options here and Later on, uh, by the way, we have to set this uh, to 220 ohms. And now I will go to, uh, from the positive, I go to uh, one of the pins, okay? Let's say we go to number 12. And uh, all I need to change the cable color so we can distinguish connections in component. Right now, uh, I go to programming, text, continue. Um, I can just uh, write it from beginning, okay? All I need to write here, one LED name, example, that that is the default programming that comes uh, when you open it. Uh, that's used actually for uh, the pin 13 or uh, LED uh, in a built-in one. Uh, right now, I'm instead of this, I will write here one LED, okay, and um, here all of them should be changed, replaced by LED. In the programming, you see that uh, we declare. Actually, we haven't declared yet. We declare the setup, uh, what kind of device it is, output or input, in the coming section. Uh, there is another function which is the loop and in that loop you know it's always repeats what's written inside uh, it says digital write uh, so which means you are going to just give a command to the uh, the component this component is LED and I say LED turn it on for one second okay so high stands for turn it on and low stands for turn off so it's gonna stay turn on for one second because thousand milliseconds stands for a second and the low stands for uh, turning off uh, delete thousand seconds thousand milliseconds it means it has to stay one second off uh, right now I'm gonna uh, run this but uh, as you see I will have some problems because uh, LED was not declared so 
on the top we will go to right there integer okay and LED equal we will write the pin number that's number 12 okay and we have to terminate the code line by semicolon let's run it one more time as you see our LED functions perfectly it firstly turns on one second and turns off one second one second on one second off if you want uh, we can also do this uh, too fast by saying 200 by 200 and let's see how will it react so it just shows the LED for uh, 0 0.2 seconds and then uh, stops this 0 0.2 seconds so that's it uh, let's let's quickly see also how it happens in in a real Arduino okay let's go to physical one now that was a virtual uh, I will take you to the uh, the real one uh, I'm gonna go to open my Arduino programming and then I will just copy these codes okay and copy and I will paste it here okay we can also start the setting up our uh, the real Arduino circuit I have one LED and one resistor and also cables uh, as you see there are two cables here uh, one is the long one another is the short uh, the long one is anode and another is the uh, cathode I go to uh, place this in uh, one of the pins on breadboard and uh, as we said earlier the the cathode has to go uh, you know has to be connected by uh, resistor okay to reduce the power and um, I have to make a connection between the minus of breadboard and also with our GND ground so I have connected there and one more cabling is going to be between anode and uh, L, uh, pin 12 on Arduino as you see I'm going to connect this quickly here and it goes to pin 12 Now all we need to do is uh, to send the codes. We go upload, okay? So it will require to save the file. As you see, it perfectly blinks. And now uh, instead of 200, I can try this with 800. And let me run this so it functions perfectly by the way before you send your codes to your breadboard by clicking to this one uh, you can go to tools okay and make sure you select the Arduino Uno and you have selected the correct uh, serial ports connection okay in case if it gives an error and all of it says that done uploading uh, the problem should be uh, the port is not correctly selected okay so you need to choose the the correct ports and that will able to send the codes into your Arduino so that's it uh, hopefully we see each other in another tutorial and we will uh, learn a lot in this uh, video series all the best for you see you later